Welcome to Nickelodeon's Robot Wars, where today you're going to see five bots, four battles, and one winner on the Annihilator Special. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the master of mayhem, Dave Azer. Welcome to Nickelodeon Robot Wars. Today, a multi-bot battle of epic proportions, the Annihilator competition. It's a free-for-all as we start off with five robots, all in the arena at the same time, all trying to survive and move on to the next round. In each round, one robot will be eliminated until all but one are gone. That robot will be named the Annihilator Champion. Let's go down to the pits and get the mood from Vivian. Viv. You can just feel the pressure here in the pits, Dave. Roboteers making all sorts of last minute repairs and adjustments to the machines, hoping that their robot's the one that's got the right stuff to make it into the finals and hopefully all the way into the winner's circle. Which one of these metallic monsters will end up on top? Well, there's only one way to find out. All right, Vivian, here's the lineup for the Annihilator in the first round. We're going to see Techno Trousers, Basenji, Bunny Attack, Hannibal, and the Peacemaker. With spinning discs, lifting arms, and even a sledgehammer, every weapon's represented here. So now, let's meet our team, starting with Andy. You're here with Basenji. So what makes you think that your robot can take out four other robots? Uh, we're very fast and agile, so we hope to use that to our advantage. Okay, well, we'll see. You're also going up against the Peacemaker. Hannah, what's your role in today's battle? I'm going to direct the saws. Okay, and maybe make pieces out of the other robots. Well, mm -hmm. we'll see. Head on over here. We'll meet Techno Trousers. We're here with Ellen and Andrew. Ellen, what do you think your robot has that none of the other robots have? Hydraulic Lance. Ooh, the Hydraulic Lance. Watch out for it. Right over here, we've got Bunny Attack. Andrew is here. Andrew, which robot you think you're going to go after first? Basenji. Ooh, Basenji. All right. Well, let's meet the fifth team. It is Will. He's over here with Hannibal. Hannibal is his very own custom design. So, Will, what design feature do you think that can really take out the other robots? I think grabbing them and taking them to any hazard I want would be a lot, very helpful. Okay. Well, you met the team. Now sit tight for the Annihilator Special. From Massachusetts, Bunny Attack. First to enter the arena is Bunny Attack at 200 pounds. Nice bit of fur lining on there with an 8-pound sledgehammer, just in case you're sleeping. From Massachusetts, Techno Trousers. There's Techno Trousers at 185 pounds with a retractable coil and spear on it. Let's see how that one works. From Virginia, Hannibal. And there's Hannibal. Hannibal has got a lifting arm to tip over its opponent and a grabbing arm in at 194 pounds. California, the Peacemaker. And in at 99 pounds, a lightest spot, the Peacemaker. With two circular saws with metal cutting capabilities, he's light and strong. From New York, Basenji. And there's the four wheel drive, Basenji, in at 184 pounds with a six-inch hole saw that could cut through something if they got in the way. There's the Bunny Attack Techno Trousers teams up in the booth. And Peacemaker Hannibal and Basenji teams up in the booth. And the house spots guarding the corner patrol zones in this round will be Sir K. And joining Sir K, the capable hands of Sergeant Bash. Three, two, one, activate. Here we go for the first round of the Annihilator Special. It's a free-for-all where one bot goes out and the next four go through. Bunny attack gets attacked immediately, and the Peacemaker decides to go head up with the bunny at half the weight. And it's a bit of a free-for-all in the middle. Techno Trousers has got some loose suspenders. 
the teams look on, it's carnage down in the arena as Basenji slams the Peacemaker into the disc button. And that disc is spinning around. You don't want to drive over that thing if you got low center of gravity. It'll just take you for a ride. And Techno Trousers, it look like they've had a better ride in another day as the Peacemaker's getting cooled down by those CO2 jets. As Techno Trousers out of it, RefBot's having a look as Hannah Gary looks on for Peacemaker and RefBot goes to the countdown for Techno Trousers. These guys are well and truly out of it, it looks like. Yes, they are. The audience wants to see some kind of destruction here. The largest spot in this round goes out, and the four Techno Trousers guys can just sit and look. It only took him two weeks to build this robot. He was really up against it. Maybe he could have had three. As he goes for a little do -si do courtesy of Sir K. Bunny attack is still on the attack. And Hannibal's got some smoke coming up, and it's definitely a no-smoking area. As Techno Trousers gets lined up by Sergeant Bash, the audience knows something's gonna happen at all. Techno Trousers gets flipped into Bunny attack. Absolute insult to injury here. Poor Techno Trousers goes out early on and then has to suffer this right into the sledgehammer of bunny attack so techno trousers is the first victim and the remaining four go through all right we're standing here with andrew and ellen from the techno trousers robot team and guys watching that match uh, it was obvious that sir k came over and he was able to uh, dismantle you but is it frustrating to sit there and watch your robot you can't do anything about it and then here comes sir k and he breaks your leg pretty much is that tough to watch very. <laughs> well, I give you guys credit for battling up until the end, and I know you wanted to say something to Bunny Attack because they tried to help you out and give you a little push there at the end. What did you want to tell them? Thank you. And they say, you're welcome. Guys, give a big hand at Techno Trousers. They fought hard all the way to the end of the match. So with Techno Trousers history, Basenji, Bunny Attack, Hannibal and the Peacemaker go through to round two of this Annihilator. And when we come back, the four remaining robotic gladiators will fight it out to see who will be the Nickelodeon Robot Wars Annihilator champion. You are watching Nick Gas. Welcome back to Nickelodeon Robot Wars. This is the Annihilator competition. We started out with five robots and Techno Trousers was the first to go down. It's time for our next round. Let's go to the battle board and get the matchup for round two. All right, Dave, we're going to see Basenji, Bunny Attack, Hannibal, and Peacemaker fight it out. Bunny attack. Hi, I'm Andrew. This is my dad, and this is Bunny attack. We're gonna beat them all. The Peacemaker. Hi, my name is Hannah. This, we're the Peacemakers. This is my dad, Scott, and my sister, Alana. This is our robot, the Peacemaker. It has two circular saws that can shred other robots to smithereens. Basenji. I'm Andy Kirody, and these are my teammates. And this is our robot, Basenji. And we're fast and maneuverable, and we're going to push them all around the arena. Hannibal. I'm Will Tabin. This is my robot, Hannibal. It can lift, it can grab, and it will own the competition. There's Bunny attacking Basenji up in the box. Teams Hannibal and Peacemaker up in the box. And the house bots in this round, Sir Kay. 
helping him out in the other corner patrol zone, Sergeant Bash with the pincers. Three, two, one, activate. Well, so far, we haven't seen a lot of damage on a bunny attack with that hammer. But the little peacemaker is actually pretty awesome for a bot, considering he's half the weight, but he's certainly getting pushed around now. Somebody's hit the pit trigger, and we got a little traffic jam out in the center of the arena with Bunny Attack and Peacemaker leading the way. Peacemaker getting pushed into the grinder. Bunny Attack up against the rails. And Hannibal, with that forklift action, is looking for somebody to do damage to as Basenji goes right up against him. Basenji with a low, drives himself into the pit. Unbelievable, Basenji had all kinds of space and decided to hit the pit. Not a good bit of strategy on their part. Well, all they needed was one bot to go out, and that was volunteer time on Basenji. All right, here with Andy from the Basenji team. Tell me what your strategy was and, and what went wrong. Uh, our strategy was to hit the pin button over there and try to hit somebody else, push them into there. And uh, obviously not drive into it ourselves, but... <laughs> Uh, so how did it happen? How did you end up driving into it yourself? Uh, I messed up pretty much. I wasn't driving very accurately. <laughs> well, that's all right. Don't worry about it. It happens to the best of us. Guys, you came up short, but a uh, great effort and a great competition and a great strategy, even though it, yes. it didn't work out so well. <laughs> Round of applause for Basenji. Well, with two battles out of the way, we've got three bots left to go. Bunny attack, Hannibal, and the Peacemaker. And then there were three. We're getting ready for the third round of the Annihilator Special. Down to three teams. They are about to walk through the tunnel into the arena. But before they do, let's talk to them first. Right over here, we have the Peacemaker, Alana and Hannah. Now, Alana, I want to know who you want to win this thing. I, I want our, the Peacemaker to win. Of course you do. OK, well, good luck to the Peacemaker. Right over here, we've got Bunny Attack. Andrew, what do you think you're going to do when you get out there? We're going to go after Hannibal. How come? Because um, he's stronger than them, and we just won an easy battle for the last one. Oh, you got the whole thing planned out. All right, that's Bunny Attack. Right over here, Hannibal and Will. Tell me what you're going to do when you get out there, because Bunny Attack said he's going after you. Well, I'm just going to do my best to try and drive anywhere I can okay. without getting hurt, you know? Okay. Just take them where I want to. And take the other robots out. Mm -hmm. Whichever one's closest. Okay. Well, those are the three robots. The Annihilator Special third round is getting ready to start. Funny Attack. The Peacemaker. And the house spots guarding the corner patrol zones in this third round will be shunt with that diamond edge axe. And dead metal with a massive saw. Three, two, one. Activate. So we're down to three bots left here. Hannibal, Peacemaker, and Bunny Attack. And Hannibal and Peacemaker right head to head. Bunny Attack comes in with a hammer from behind. Peacemaker gets buried with a saw. And Alana from Peacemaker hates to see that happen. Look at the saw just go down into Peacemaker. Poor Hannibal stuck right in the middle. And Bunny Attack from behind. The Bunny Attack boys trying to figure out what to do with that sledgehammer. Hannibal gets out of trouble again. And Bunny Attack comes right after with a sledgehammer one more time. Definitely trying to get Hannibal's carrot, but he can't do with that sledgehammer, that's for sure. No bunny munching on that carrot, so he gets rid of the hammer. And Hannibal says it's hammer time as he drives away with a hammer. Unbelievable, leaving Bunny Attack completely helpless. All he's got is pushing power. Hannibal's got the sledgehammer, got the carrot, got the lifting forks. 
now he hits that disc of doom trigger, which could be potentially lethal to any of these bots, especially little Peacemaker could get flipped out of the arena with the velocity of that thing. And they are going to be taking their steps very carefully as Shunt comes in and breaks up the action. The 10 second count goes down as Bunny Attack is still after that carrot. And Peacemaker still in it to win it. Who is it going to be? Well, that's going to have to go to a judge's decision. Well, in the beginning of that round, Dead Metal made all the sparks fly. But Hannibal, for my money, is the one that survived, even though Bunny Attack was after everybody all the way from beginning to end of that round. Without a hammer, he was useless. Let's see what the judges have to say about this. Between our three teams, Bunny Attack, Hannibal, and Peacemaker, the judges have returned their decision, and the team that is not going to advance to the next round, unfortunately, is Peacemaker. You guys came up a little short, but you did advance a few rounds in this competition. How did it feel to advance a few rounds? Good. Would you agree with that? Uh-huh. All right, so these guys had a good time, even though they did come up a little short. Now, over here to this side, you guys are going to be moving on, and you're going to face each other off in the championships. The only real weapon uh, of sorts at the start of the match was your sledgehammer, and it fell off pretty much right away. After you lose your weapon, how does that affect your strategy? It changes it a lot because then you have to convert to ramming. All right, so our finals are now set up. You know exactly who you're going to be facing. You've faced them a few times already. Any thoughts on how you're going to uh, attack the bunny attack? This time I'm going to charge my batteries because last time, totally uncharged batteries. So this time it's going to be about four times as fast, ramming. And a secret weapon. All right, thanks again to all of our competitors. A big round of applause for all three teams here in the Annihilator Series. So we say goodbye to Hannah and Alana Gary as Peacemaker is out of there, and we've got our Annihilator final. Hanging backstage of the arena with my three new friends, Alana, Hannah, and Rapbot. Stick around for more Nickelodeon Robot Wars. This is Nickelodeon Robot Wars, and then there were two. We started out with five robots, and three rounds later, only one battle remains to determine the winner of the Annihilator competition. Will Bunny Attack hop away from the menacing Hannibal, or will Hannibal make the bunny into rabbit stew? Well, either way, Dave, we've had five awesome bots start out, and we are down to two now. We've got Hannibal from Virginia up against Bunny Attack from Massachusetts. Hannibal Bunny Attack There's Andrew Chester that controls for Bunny Attack And Will Tatman all by himself up there for Hannibal. And the house spots in this round is the ever capable saw blade of dead metal. And in that other corner patrol zone, the pushing power of shunt. Three, two, one, activate. And this is the one we've been waiting for, the Annihilator Final, as Bunny Attack and Hannibal go out to the center arena and miss each other. Hannibal up with the carrot, right into Bunny Attack. The carrot gets sliced up. Bunny Attack ready and poised on that spinning disc. Going around, little breakdance move there. Bunny Attack down with a hammer into space. Trying to mash up some carrots, I think. And Hannibal with that lifting arm bent to pieces. And the bunny attack boys know it. Now Hannibal's back on the attack. Back into bunny attack, that is. Pushing him right into Shunt, who buries that axe right down in the corner patrol zone, right into bunny attack. Bunny has taken some mean hits here. He lost his sledgehammer last time. What's he going to lose this time? It could be skinned. 
And there we go with Hannibal into the rail. Keeping Bunny attacking that corner patrol zone a shot. And Sean has taken full advantage of it. Great bit of driving strategy on Hannibal's part. Keeping Bunny attack at bay. And now Hannibal pushes Bunny attack back into the rails. Bunny attack's getting angry now. Will Tatman looking on as the grinder sparks are flying. Smoke is coming out of Hannibal. Dead metal comes in there and buries the sun. The bunny attack just melts through like butter. And Dead Metal's got those clinchers right there and buries the saw into the poor helpless little bunny. Oh no, what's gonna happen next? Bunny attack gets out of the clutches, fortunately for them, and they go right after Hannibal again. What a great annihilator final as Shot hits that pit trigger. Oh baby, everything's gonna happen now. Bunny attack and Hannibal in a full headlock. It's anybody's game here as the 10 second count comes down. This is the Annihilator final, only one winner here. The pit is open. Jeez. It's gonna have to go to a judge's decision. What a close battle. Right from the start, they were heads up on each other. Hannibal lost the carrot to Bunny Attack. Bunny Attack did a little breakdance move before he spun off the disc and Shunt welcomed him into the corner patrol zone. And then Dead Metal had a little taste of Bunny, but Bunny just kept coming back for more. The Annihilator series began with five teams, four battles, and now it has come down to one champion. And the judges have decided that the champion of the Annihilator series is Hannibal. And the fans, the fans applaud loudly for that. Second place, a great finish for Bunny Attack. And I was just talking to you guys about this a few minutes ago. I really think it's uh, extremely impressive the way that your robot continues to fight back. The last match you were in, pretty much the same thing. You were getting attacked, but every time you fought back. Talk to me about the fighting spirit of your robot. Well, um, we just keep ramming if the hammer isn't working. Which it usually isn't. <laughs> <laughs> and you had, uh, you had some problems with the hammer today. What, what happened? The gears weren't engaging correctly, so um, it didn't go. Well, even though you came up a little short, there is a bit of good news, right? Because you did take something very important with you, right? Tell us what you took. The carrot. <laughs> That's right. They took the carrot away from your machine. You put the carrot there, and they took it back. Well, congratulations on your championship. The last time I spoke to you after your last match, when we knew who you'd be facing, you mentioned you wanted to try and, and speed up your robot. Uh, did, did it work, and how effective was it? It worked very well. I just charged batteries, and it's three times as fast as it was before. And was that the key to the victory, you think, for you today? It helped, and it hurt. It bent our forks when we ran them, though. Well, every good champion needs a championship belt, and here to present you with your belt for the Annihilator Challenge, Vivian Collins. Viv, come on in. Give him the hardware. There you go, Will. It's not a carrot, but it's a great belt. Congratulations. And a big round of applause, not only for Hannibal, but for Bunny Attack as well. You guys made it all the way through to the final match, and certainly that's terrific. All right, that is it. Hope you guys enjoyed all the great Annihilator action in this edition of Nickelodeon Robot Wars. We'll see you later. Yeah. Remember, building robots is extremely dangerous and should not be attempted without great care and parental supervision. For more information, please visit www.nick.com.